What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Rob Lito, man. I'm bringing the Blind Faith by Alec Bradley. Stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? Hope y'all had a good weekend. Hope y'all enjoyed y'all Super Bowl weekend. Shout out to Tom Brady. No, I'm not a Buccaneers fan, but Tom went to Michigan as well. He from the Bay Area, so there's two things I do like about him. Plus, he is a hell of a good quarterback. But anyway, let's get on to this one. Right now, I am smoking on The Blind Faith by Alec Bradley. The origins are from um, Honduras. Honduras. Um, the origins from Honduras. The rappers from Honduras. The binder is from Honduras and Nicaragua. Filler is Nicaragua and... The fill is Nicaragua and it has a, a cordial of 99 and a Carrillo of 98. So hopefully this should be a good smoking cigar right now since, you know, these are kind of like unique fillers that I normally know that Alec Bradley use, normally use. The size is a 5x5.5x52 five by five and a half, five by 52 Robusto and the size is $8.95. $10.95 if you're in California. Um, Bach go for like $179 to maybe like $219. So let's cut down all the BS and let's light up and let's smoke. Uh, it'd be nice if I take off the white wrapper. <laughs> First air of the day. Let's try this again. <laughs> get a good torch on this cigar now normally me and Alec Bradley we have a love-hate relationship I'm not mad at the company there's some cigars in the company that I'm just not cool with now don't get me wrong the magic toast that is my go-to Alec Bradley cigar hands down um I love the Magic Toast. I love the flavored notes. I love the you know complexity of that cigar. It is one of I say one of Alec Bradley's to me, in my opinion, one of the best cigars that they have on the market. Now, from what I heard, this is not the first edition of this. This is kind of like the second edition of this Blind Faith. And so far, this mostly tobacco right now. This really tobacco. This is really tobacco, but it's not um, as earthy. Is 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 tastes like it's been processed pretty good. Like I said, me and Alec Bradley, we have a love-hate relationship, man. It's it's kind of weird, man. It's like when I go to, you know, the cigar lounge and I see all the cigars that Alec Bradley have and I'm only grabbing, you know, the Magic Toast. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm not bad at them. I do like the Black Market. Um, the Black Market it was good, but um, it was, how could I say it? To me, it was processed just a little bit too fast. You know what I'm saying? Because when that first one hit, the second wave came, and the third wave came, and I think they lost it somewhere in the second or third wave. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, you know, the blenders and everything else, probably product control and everything else. Because when you got, you know how it is, when you got a hot ass cigar, you know, you want to push things out. Okay. So I'm getting pepper notes, you know, tip of my lip, I mean, on my, on my bottom lip. Mm. 
nice earth, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's so far so good, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a robusto, so we're not going to be here all day long. Nice smoke output, as you can see here. And I got my rabbit air on, and man, it's, it's, this is a good smoke output. Maybe I'm maybe I'm maybe mistaking it, you know. Now, the construction wise, it is soft in the middle. Hopefully, that'll be a problem. It is a little bit slightly toothy, um, but. I hope, you know, maybe it might hold out because normally when I get cigars that soft in the middle, I get a lot of problems with construction wise. I get a lot of canoeing, no matter how perfect I can try to light the cigar. I'm going to get a lot of, you know, I, I'll get some type of canoeing or something like that. But right now, heavy on the pepper right now. Pepper mint from my lip. All the way damn near to the back of my tongue right now. So we, we know this is going to be a real pepper cigar right here. So right now it's hitting at a full. Let's see what happens later on. I'm gonna hit y'all back a little bit later. Okay, I am back. I'm down to the two third of the cigar. It has some pepper in it. Pepper, you know, going down. So I'm saying it's going to a medium. Um, I am getting some notes of roasted pep. I mean, not correction. Uh, roasted peanuts. Um, roasted nuts. Correction. Roasted nuts. Not peanuts, but roasted nuts. And as you can see, the smoke I put is pretty much kicking in. Now, I got this cigar from CigarClub.com. It is a monthly subscription. I pay like 30 bucks a month. I love one thing I love about this company is that they do cater to your cigar needs. It's like if you tell them about cigar and you tell them how you think about it and everything else, your next subscription will be probably something close, very damn close to it. I've been with them for a year now, and if you don't believe me. I got books for days of Cigar Club. I even got when they first started with the cards and everything. But one card actually sticks out to me and it was actually one of my favorite was this La Gura. Hope y'all can see it. La Gura Cuban. This cigar alone was a Viola 50, number 54, size 6x54. The origin was Nicaragua, wrapper was Connecticut Broadleaf, binder was Nicaragua, and filler was Nicaragua. When I say this was a good cigar, this was a good cigar right here. I mean, I had got all the taste notes. I had like my first, on my first, I had got some black pepper, which is normal. On my second, third, I got tons of chocolate, like just serious dark chocolate. And then on my third third, um, did get a little slightness of the raisin. It wasn't there, but it was there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it could have been a little bit more, but this was an all around good cigar. I mean, the smoke output was great. The construction was great. Everything about the cigar was on point. So you ever get a chance, if you go to your cigar lounge, Grab this one right here. This, this, this man. You will thank me later. But once again, this is cigarclub.com. I am not endorsed by these people. I'm just telling you that if you ever decide to go to a cigar subscription, this is one of them. You know what I mean? I re highly recommend it. The only thing I got a little issue with is like, they take their payments early, but you don't get your cigars to towards the end of the month. That means they're trying to find the right cigar that you picked and everything else. I, I mean, not picked, but that you, you know, went through the process and 
tell them how you feel about the cigar and everything else. And they try to always try to correct it. So they're very good people, great customer service. And it just all around good people, man. I mean, like I've been a member with them for like a year now. So it's not my only cigar club subscription. I do have one for Provada. I'm thinking of a third one. I don't know if I want to go with My Cigar or um, Good Cigar or Black Lions. Leave me a comment or something on below and give me your opinions on those three. But right now it's just this company right here is a great cigar company. Only thing is, I just don't want no more Robustos. Give me some Lanceros or some Churchills or something. But anyway, I'm joking. But um, right now I'm getting some nuts and pepper, but pepper is not strong. Like it went down to a medium. It's a pretty good cigar so far, smoking. Like I said, the smoke output is off the hook. You know what I'm saying? You can see right now it's blowing everywhere. I'm surprised my rabbit air ain't going off right now. But um, this is a good cigar smoke. I'm enjoying every bit of it. I had a slight correction and everything else, so I had to pull out my trusty cigar porn lighter. Trust and believe, this is the most tried to stole, stolen cigar, I mean cigar lighter that I've had so far. I've had a lot of lighters in my cigar lounge, but every time I pull this out, everyone wants to grab this cigar. So shout out to CigarPorn.com. Check them out. They have great products for you to use. So now I'm going to go back and finish off the rest of the cigar. I'm going to go down to the band. I'm going to give you my scores, give you my um, outtake on the cigar. Peace. All right, now I'm down to the nub of this cigar right here. And right now it went back to a full, so it went from a full to a medium, back to a full. Um, I'm feeling it all in my head. My head is cooking right now. Um... The pepper notes have picked up a little bit. The roasted nuts is gone. Slight taste of coca. Um, but other than that, it's just, it's just a pretty good cigar. You know, would I buy it again? I probably would, but this time I'll probably let it sit in my humidor for a minute or so, maybe a couple months and see how that go. Um, once again, I got this cigar from cigarclub.com. You would get these with your subscription, it tells you about cigars, about the cigars that you purchase or the main cigar they're looking for, which the main cigar is pretty much the Alec Bradley cigar. And it also give you pairing notes of bourbons to drink with it. And it got some pretty good bourbons here that I might have to go purchase. Um, all in all, this is not a bad cigar. It's, you know, like I said, would I purchase it again? Yeah. And I will also probably just let it sit in my humidor for a minute. But again, decent cigar. Good, 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 decent cigar. You know what I'm saying? It's not as bad as you think it is. Um, Yes, I have the band on my finger, so you can actually see that I have it. You know, I took the band off. The band was easy to take off. I didn't have to peel it or nothing. But once again, um, this is a good cigar. I have no problems with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is with Alec Bradley. Alec and Bradley, I'm sorry. Um, it's more of a love-hate relationship. Sometimes I get some good ones, sometimes I don't. But if you can, try that Magic Toast. The Magic Toast is actually a real good cigar to smoke. I highly recommend that cigar as well. Shout out to CigarClub.com for um, subscribing to Cigar to me. Appreciate everything y'all did. I've been with y'all for like a year. I'm still going to ride with y'all. And right now, let me give you the scores. Well, actually, I'm just going to give you a short score because I'm still working on my scoring process. 
And the my very first video, I think first and second video, I think my scoring process was too long. I don't want to keep you all too long for that. So just break it down or just give you a final score. I give it a 76 over a 100, which is still a good cigar. From 95 to 100 is hella good. From 70 to 90, still good. Now, once it gets underneath that 69, let the buyer be aware. So once again, thank you for checking out my video. Please click like, subscribe. I know I was supposed to bring out this video on Mondays, but I got caught up and it just, just happened. So I had to push it up to Wednesday. So once again, thank you again for taking time out and checking out, checking out your boy, Rolito. I'll see you in the next round. Peace.